Okay guys, welcome back. This is the third step, or part C, of the crock pot series. Um, I went ahead and started a couple of things just in the interest of time. One of the things you're going to need is your clay now, because we're going to fill the inside with the clay crock pot insert. So I started the insert, and I dry fit it, so to speak. It's going to need to fit inside of your crock pot. It doesn't really matter if it goes all the way to the bottom. Um, it does matter if it's too long. So better for it to be a little short and not touch the bottom because once it's in there nobody's going to see it. Okay so that's where I'm at with this part of it. Don't worry about what the inside looks like right now because we'll come back in um, some other videos and we'll either A clean that out or B during the week of Thanksgiving, I will probably be adding some food to this one. So you will see this crock pot again. So I'm going to set this aside because I've pretty much got that finished. Now what I did do, and I'm going to zoom in and zoom out here. What I did do was I started with the googly eye. And I uh, rolled out a piece of round clay, basically. I pressed this googly eye into it to give me my googly eye impression. And we'll cut that out here in just a minute. But I need that rim to fit in there tightly so it will fit. If you'll notice in this one, I ad actually had to take my Dremel and kind of clean it out. And we may have to do that again. But you'll see, mine's not perfectly round, nor is it beautiful on the inside. You know, it is... It is nice. I mean, it, this was my first one. Um, it's not bad to look at, but it's for a dollhouse. And it fits nice. So we'll pry this googly eye up. I'm going to set this piece aside. And you can see maybe that impression in there. That's what we're getting ready to cut out. And you can see where I've cut out some of the outside edge and you can see a rudimentary set of crock pot handles. So again, we're going to notch this out. I don't know if I can get the zoom in anymore or not. We're going to notch this out around that circle. It's a one inch circle. And I'm basically just notching the clay out as we go around. And this again does not have to be perfect because we're going to be, once it's baked, we'll, we'll sand it down to fit. Okay, now I do want to shorten up my handles a bit. They're a little bit large. Yeah, this one's okay. And round off those corners. And then we're going to go on the inside now. And I'm going to go just around, and this is going to be hard to see. There is this dent. Whoops, I'll get you here. There is this, well, I'm finding a dent right here. And you can see it goes around the edge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stylus, and I'm going to go on the inside of this. I'll show you once it's done. See, you can see that indention. Let me take my stylus and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Now you can see these little holes that I've put all the way around. I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut those out. Again, I'm not going to worry about neatness at this point because once it's done, I'll take my Dremel and clean it out. I just want to make sure 
my lid fits and that it fits neatly so that it's even all the way around or as reasonably even as I can get it. So I'll impress this again and then we're going to go ahead and cut around that circle. Okay guys, then we're very gently going to lift this up. I'm going to take that and lift it completely up. Just like so. Okay, and that looks really ugly, but truthfully, once it's finished and you're going to gently, gently push this out, just like so. Now we are going to lay it on the original crock pot. So let me zoom out. Well, it's hard to... Okay, so... At this point, we're going to take, I have no idea, guys, what's going on with my camera. Sorry about that. I don't want 3X. I want to come back down. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to very carefully attach this to the crock pot. And you'll see on the inside, there is sort of that rim, okay? Just like so. So we're going to take this extra and with that stylus or a tool we're going to start kind of molding that down so that when we bake it it doesn't go anywhere you know like how you have to scratch clay when you could cheat and use the um, there's a liquid something that you can purchase to glue. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a clay glue. So you'll get that all pushed down in there all the way around. And then again, like I said, don't worry because once we bake this, you're going to do the same thing on this edge. You're going to get these two to match up all the way around. And it does not have to be perfect. That's what's fun about the cleanup. You just want to make sure you get a good fit. And you may need to push this back down. And you want to keep keep your line obvious. Keep pushing that down, pushing that down, pushing that down. And then when we're done here, we'll draw, we'll do another fit. And you'll just basically go around and make sure you're still round. You still got a bit of a lip there, and that it fits. See, I still have a little bit there that's not exactly molded together. And again, in the end, when we bake this, we will be sanding it with the uh, Dremel tool to make it look a little better. It won't be this ugly. Okay, so now I'm going to fit it again to make sure it still fits in my crock pot. And then gently take that apart. 
and you're going to have this edge up here after you bake it. You're still going to have this edge, which is not a bad thing because, like I said, we're going to use the Dremel and you'll make this more pronounced. Going to look a little weird for a little bit, but in the end, it'll look really nice. So I think that might work. And see, like I said, it's not perfect. But we have ways of making it look nice. You could use something like this to give you that round. But again, like I said, it's not going to matter too much because we'll dress this up once it's ready. And one more time, we're going to put this on here and see how much is sticking out. Don't worry, we're going to scrunch this up. This, this part just takes a little bit of work. You'll just keep making it smaller and push that lip down and making it smaller and pushing that lip down until yep, you're able to fit this in there. And see, we'll come back later and clean this up. So see how it kind of looks like it's pushed down in? And it really is. But later on, once it's done, we'll come back and clean it up. just want to get it to where it looks like a crock pot. And you want it a little large or you want a little left over. So you can come back. And we'll get these even too in the next. See how they're, whoops, sorry, out of camera, out of focus. Sorry guys. We'll just keep rolling that. Pinching, rolling, pinching, rolling, pinching until we get where it looks even. And here, see it's off. I'm just going to roll that and pinch, roll and pinch, roll and pinch until it looks the way we want it to. Pull that up, roll and pinch, roll and pinch. And we'll, we'll work on leveling it up after it's been baked. Oops. Well, that was no fun. I'll have to come back and repair that. Okay, so you see you have your little ledge there. Now, you've got all of this balled up and ugly in there, but don't worry, like I said, we're going to come back later with an exact or a Dremel, and we'll clean all of that, all of that mess out. Right now it looks like a plugged pipe, but it'll be fine. Okay, so bake this monstrosity, and when we come back, we will clean it up. Okay, folks, I'm going to load this video, and while it's loading, I will be, what will I be doing? This is it. This is it, guys. Once we do the, once we bake these, we come back, we'll bake them, we'll come back, and we'll do the final fitting and the cleanup. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.